Hello, my YouTubians. How you going? All right. So, welcome to Paranormal Sea Bass Approved Season 1, Episode 5. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So, in this episode, I picked a person that's a very good investigator, in my opinion, uh, for many reasons. Uh, number one, like me, um, this person gets excited whether it's an orb, an apparition, a, a voice, um, doesn't matter what the evidence is, uh, gets excited about it and enjoys uh, the the uh, evidence, which proves he's he's in this for the for the for the proof for the fun for the joy, uh, so that's that's number one. Um, number two, uh, this person picks apart their own evidence, you know, uh, goes through it with a fine tooth comb and decides whether or not uh, there's a natural explanation or. In his own mind, okay, now do do I, what is this, you know? And then once he makes up his mind that it's paranormal, that's when he puts it on his channel, right? Which is the way we should all do it, and the way I do it, and the way that everybody uh, in this series does it, okay? Um, second of all, gets great evidence, okay? Uh, undeniable evidence, in my opinion. But on top of that, uh, it's all credible. You know, it's credible evidence. Uh, it's the type of evidence that we all try to get. It's the type of evidence that we all work for. And we all do get it, you know. Um, and when we do get it, it's it's celebrated. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is a, a really, really nice guy. Really like this guy. Uh, he's a good friend. And uh, so I hope you enjoy this because this is pretty cool. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll talk to you more at the end. It's a shame no one looks after the cemetery. What was that? Who are you? It's a shame no one looks after the cemetery. What was that? Who are you? Hello spirits, my name's Mark. I come with respect. Can you tell me, was this place used for hanging people? If so, can you say hanging? Hello spirits, my name's Mark. Can you tell me your name? Don't just call me a C-U-N-T. Don't just call me a C-U-N-T. Who pushed me? Who did? Jesus? Right here. You're right here. Wow. You're right here. You're a, you're a male, aren't you? God, oh, that was a powerful voice. My God. Wow, that was a that was a powerful voice. Look at the energy, man. You're off the scales. Oh my god! Check this out. This is pretty cool. You see how it curls up there now? And then look how it stops and starts to rise up from the back. Uh, let's go back. And I'm going to try and freeze frame it as it comes in the midsection, or just before the midsection. So there. See? the cobra effect I'm talking about see to me I mean this is his own light source to me that looks like a face there looking directly at me look closely as it starts to come in and you'll see it change to look at me here it comes I'm going to do it 
it really slow there okay now watch as it changes this will disappear and it'll just become um, pure exoplasm as such so watch so now you see that's no longer now watch how it starts to rise up watch this bit see how it's gone all see the way it's changed and then as that gets over to here it slows right down and it sort of tilts and this then starts to lift Absolutely incredible. What was that? Thank you. Oh my god, the temperature gauge is going fucking crazy. I want you to go over to that device with the lights on it, please, and light it up. Notice the orb past the antenna as it makes noise. Chap commits suicide in room 11. What number? Is he still here? Room 11, thank you. What's your name? I'm sure I'm getting a yellow orb right down there. A yellow orb? Yeah, it keeps flashing and out. Shall I hold the crucifix? <laughs> Alright, got it. Pretty damn good picture of a person who isn't really there. Wow. Good evidence. Is there any soldiers here? <laughs> any naval here? <laughs> Whoa, thank you, spirits. Thank you. Thank you for showing yourself. Wow, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Did you see that? This is some damn good evidence right here. Very good catcher. Who are you? I'm in the graveyard right now. I 
don't know what that is. Where are you? I don't believe you can get a more direct response than this. Uh, this was pretty darn good. Speak to me. Goodbye, Sammy. What's that? That don't make any sense. It's like lights in the trees. What the f Why is there lights in the trees? What's going on? <laughs> It's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> You're a nice person. Anybody here? Can you show yourself? Oh, hello. Hello there. Wow. You want to hear that wishes to speak? We are what? Again. Oh, my name is Mark. Come with respect, love and light. You show yourself on this camera or speak? Afternoon to you too. Like a white mass. Hold on a minute, Wendy's catching something on the camera. Yeah, it's right there. Wow, she's got a white mass. Yeah, right there on the headstone. Really? That's more or less where you were standing. Keep recording it, Wend, keep recording it. You have got it on record, haven't you? Yeah. Wow, she's got a white mist. It's like a white ball of mist. See it looking at me now, it's just turned to me with the light source, and then you've got the spirits here. Look, now look how it's look at that. Look at that. Now, let's just stop it. Now we have a figure which looks like two hands or two arms held out holding this gigantic white. Anomaly. And here now you have a figure. The shoulders going down the torso and the head. And as I play this, you're going to see this head here turn towards that way, towards its gravestone, and point, in my opinion. But here now we have a full apparition. And you're welcome to crop it, you know, cut it and crop it, whatever, and blow it up and see for yourself. This is real thermal imaging paranormal activity caught right here. Watch. It 
See it locked down? And then it just pointed towards its grave. There's the gravestones here. Once again, we have, I forget this is on thermal, and you can tell the thermal because when this kind of lights up, you'll see the wavy effect that you get on the thermal, on the thermal camera. Like the whole ground is sort of like a wavy sort of effect. There's no heat source whatsoever. If there's any heat source, this here, as a human being, would be red. And so with that. There's no denying that this figure turns into a full apparition of a human. A human shape. And it's on thermal, but there's no heat source. It shows coldness, pure coldness. In the darkness of the night. Look again. It's in real time right now. Let's go back once more. So now you know there is gravestones here. Now you know this is an energy. It's a cold energy. It hasn't got body heat. If it was an animal, a human being, it would have a red heat source. And when this light turns into that gigantic light when it's facing me, it doesn't seem to affect my camera at all. And I would have noticed if that was a real light source from a torch, you know. I don't know any light source that big, to be honest with you, and how something that small can turn into something so gigantic. But, yeah, you will see this here turn into a full apparition, and this thing here pops up, turns at me. They both turn to look at me. Watch. You see it looking right at me, look. There's its head, as I've already explained. And all this here. And you've got this here turned into a full apparition. Now you see it. See its body? Now watch this turn and point towards its grave. Watch it. See? See it turn? It's turned its head. It's pointing to here.
The whole area is now lit up here, look. And it's pointing towards that grave. Well, there you have it, guys. There's Mark for you. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that show and, uh, um, it, it, you know, I enjoyed putting it together for you. Um, 87 cinemas I had to watch. Uh, quite a few hours, actually. Um, and it, it, like I say, it, it, you know, I try to find uh, what I feel is, is um, appropriate for each episode. Uh, 20 minutes out of all the stuff that we collect. And people think sometimes, oh, you always get evidence, you always get evidence. See, but here's the thing. How many hours, you know, how many hours uh, each investigation we go, I know me and my team, we go out, even if we go for 10 hours, there's 14 pieces of equipment type deal that are 10 hours long. So that's 140 hours and you only get one or two things, you know. Sometimes you don't get squat. Okay, which in turn is evidence because it just proves the spirits give you what they want you to see and nothing else, right? So anyway, uh, yeah. So, you know, check out Mark. Go over there, you know. Uh, if you haven't rolled his bones, roll his bones because he's an awesome dude. Uh, and uh, has a lot of integrity. Has a lot of integrity. So keep it up, brother. You're doing a good job. And uh, you are now Paranormal Seabass approved. Do with that as you will.